Hi everyone. Today our topic is projectile motion. A two-dimensional motion in which a body moves under the action of gravity. There is only gravitational force act on the body. For example, a missile fired from a launching pad, a football kicked by a player, a ball thrown by a cricketer, motion of rider performing a bike stunt, motion of snowboarder descending from a slope, are also the examples of projectile motion. Consider a body which is projected with initial velocity u. At a certain angle theta with respect to horizontal as shown in figure. The body covers some height and reaches at point A. During motion from O to A the vertical velocity component decreases. And finally becomes zero at point A and then again increases during motion from A to B. During the whole motion horizontal component of velocity remains constant. The path followed by projectile is called trajectory. And it is parabolic in nature. The horizontal component of velocity remains constant throughout the flight. Because there is no force act on projectile horizontally. The vertical component of velocity changes uniformly and is zero at highest point. Because there is a gravitational force act on the body vertically. In projectile motion special convention is used. Whenever object is directed upward is considered positive. And whenever object is directed downward is considered negative. In projectile motion acceleration is equal to g. Resolving the velocity into its horizontal and vertical components. The horizontal component of acceleration is zero because there is no force act horizontally. The vertical component of velocity is minus g. The horizontal component of velocity at any time is ux is equal to u cos theta. The vertical velocity component is uy equal to u sin theta minus gt. Time of flight. Time at which projectile remains in air is called time of flight. To derive relation for time of flight. Using second equation of motion. S is equal to ut. Plus half at square. As the height of projectile before and after projection. Is zero so put s equal to zero u equal to u sin theta put a equal to minus g and replace small t by capital t put values in above equation then time of flight is equal to t is equal to 2 u sin theta by g height of projectile Maximum vertical distance covered by projectile is called height of projectile. To derive this relation using third equation of motion. 2 A S equal to U F square minus U square where a equal to means g uf be the final velocity that zero when body reaches at maximum height and u become equal to u sin theta put values in above equation we get height of projectile that equal to h equal to u square sin square theta by two grams range of projectile
The maximum horizontal distance covered by projectile is called range of projectile. To find the range of projectile, we use distance formula. S is equal to V T where V be the horizontal velocity component equal to U sin theta and T be the time of flight which is equal to 2 U sin theta by G and put S equal to R. So putting values in above equation we get range of projectile Mathematically, r is equal to u sin 2 theta by g. Hero's formula for projectile motion. If we know the time of flight and we find the height of projectile, we use the hero formula similarly. If we know the height of projectile, so range of projectile can be found by Hero's formula, where Hero's formula is g t square equal to 8h equal to 2r tan theta. Thanks for watching us.